Ah, there it goes. Oh, crap. There we go. All right, so this is the first impression that I get of these bees that I showed up to try to remove. And the bees are really busy. They're bringing in a ton of pollen. I'm hope, hoping that it's a flow situation here. It seems like it. They have like spotted jewelweed everywhere. So hopefully they're not too aggressive. All right, let's get into this one. This removal is actually moving along pretty quickly. These combs are coming out very easily. Uh, I actually had to run up to the car to get my stuff more ready because I wasn't ready. I got some drawn frames in my queen cage, got everything. I haven't even looked for the queen yet, but I think she'll be pretty easy to find. I'm gonna put a little bee quick on the other side so they don't go down the log and get moving right along with this. Here's a little more of the inside. I'd love to show you how I try to pull this comb out of here. Yeah, maybe I can do that. Maybe if I set this up, I can show you how I'm not really that good at cutouts. I don't have a vacuum or anything like that. I'm gonna try to carefully pull this piece of comb out and lay it down so I can get the bees off into the box and see if there's any good brood comb I can save. This is a really new comb, so it looks really nice, but it is soft, so it's hard to frame up. It's really hot today. Let's see what I can get. Okay, I hope the wind doesn't blow my tripod down, but I kind of, what I try to do is get my fingers up there as far as I can so I can get a good hold on the comb. I rock it back and forth a little bit to see how tight it's on there. It's not on there very tight. Try to get my other hand in there. This comb feels kind of light, so hopefully it's not honeycomb. I don't know once it lets go. And it don't really want to let go. Uh, man, that thing's really holding on there. Uh, I'm going to mess this up. Alright, it's letting go. It's letting go fast. Ah, there it goes. Oh, crap. There we go. Big old giant comb. I gotta lay it down quick before it rips. Maybe the queen's on there. I don't know. We'll find out. I put it down pretty carefully. Hopefully the queen's not on here or on the other side, but I'm gonna cut this up, frame up some of that capped brood, and keep going. I just cracked off the front of this thing to learn that there's a lot more comb in here than I thought. I thought this side was empty and that and that these were the only combs back here in the back, but yeah, I found out now there's all these combs, but I'm not saving them all. Too many problems. See all this stuff under here? That probably that's probably where the ecosystem is, where they had all their high beetles and stuff, keeping them at bay. And they won't be able to do that in a little nuke, so I'm not taking a lot of these combs. It's just from doing this a few times. But yeah, I'm out of breath from ripping this thing apart, man. Alright, let me get back into it. Saving the bees! 
All right, I'm kind of wrapping up here. Got a lawnmower in the background driving me nuts. I got most of the comb removed except for that little piece. It was a real shame to have to throw away so much beautiful comb. It was like perfect. Just slammed with brood and pollen. It just sucked throwing it away, but uh, there's a ton of bees here. They'll be able to quickly clean up all them drawn combs. And I'm gonna get my, I got, I got my super beekeeping swarm king cup ready to skirt these bees up, put them in where they're going. I'll try to get a shot of that if I can, if I can. That's a full scoop of bees there. I'm gonna dump them right down here, see if I can see the queen. I'm just gonna keep doing that till I get all the bees in here and then really smoke them out of that log so they don't try to go back and then I'll be done here so when I come back it'll probably just be parting words from me all right I have all the combs removed and now I'm just kind of running all the bees out here till I can find the queen that is if I don't already have her in the box over there she may have snuck in. But we're looking. Maybe I'll catch it with the phone. Maybe not. So the last stage is just absconding them out. Um, I found the queen right up here. She was walking around in that little crevice right there. I got her in the cage. Stupid camera shadow. All right, she's in there. So I'm going to put her over in my box and then run all these bees out. All right, the York bees are at home on their new spot under my lean-to. All they need is an entrance reducer. I'm going to slip in there. And they're home. Thanks for watching the York Bees story. See you on the next one.